Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Monia Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. Today we're going to do part two of the colored pencil basic hard light portrait skin tutorial. So I hope to finish um, the face, skin, the eyes, lips and nose and the neck. Hello Janine, hi mum, hi Pam, hi Sunette, hi Rai, hi Kudrin, Laura, Lizzie, welcome. Okay, so let's start. So this is how far we got with the skin last week. So Today we're just going to carry on with the skin from there. Let me just bring you a little bit closer. Oh, there we go. Closer. Okay, my first color tonight is going to be Artichoke PC one zero nine eight. So we're slowly building up the layers. I'm not going to give attention to the little hair strands tonight. Um, I will finish where one. Or I will do that on Patreon. Once we finish the background, I will finish up all the flower of hairs. So we just did the basics tonight on the Patreon. Uh, on the hair. Yes, we have beautiful weather in Cape Town today. Not too hot, just very nice. But we've got quite a hot weather coming this weekend. Yeah, we, we are, because in Cape Town we've got... Um, there's so many different places, uh, it's so wide apart, so the temperature uh, varies quite a bit in Cape Town as a whole. Here where we stay, we'll probably have a 40 degrees uh, Celsius in uh, Saturday. The next color is light umber. And light umber is a PC941. How's the weather there by you, Sinet? I'm staying in Brackenfell, Protea Heights. Uh, next color, uh, henna. So 
So now we're slowly bringing back some of those colors that we've added in the beginning. And while we're busy with the henna, let's do the lips. Um, using small circular movements. And I'm using a light hand, so light pressure. Uh, next is Nectar, PC1092. Next is bronze, PC1028. And now I'm just going to cover the bottom section of the um, light area that we've left here so that she doesn't have a milk moustache and also just darken the shadow uh, here with, uh, just above the upper lip. Uh, next is mineral orange. We want to get some warmth. Uh, back to Nectar again, PC1092. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm giving her some pinky lips. Next is pumpkin orange. Just a little bit on the bottom lip and a little bit here on the upper lip. Next is chestnut. And now I'm just darkening the mouth corners uh, to shape the lips. Also the upper part of the upper lip. With the light source coming from the left hand side, we have more of a shadow on the right hand side of the lips. So always keep in mind where your light's coming from. Next is pink. Next is light green, BC920. Now I'm just bringing a little bit of green back here where we get a reflective cast of light. Just a little bit because we don't want to lose it. And next is eggshell, PC9. Uh, Oh, sorry, PC one four zero, and the just the bottom of the mouth corners I'm highlighting. Next is Black Raspberry, PC1095. Now I'm just enhancing my shadows.
and I'm using a light hand because I color with lots of layers you need to keep a light hand otherwise it will um, fill up very quickly and you won't, won't be able to do all the layering Uh, next is chocolate, PC1082. I'm still with my chocolate. Enhance the shadow. Here of the metal headgear. Hello, sickle. Welcome. Oh, awesome, I can't wait to see. You must please post it to my Facebook group so that I can see your image. Uh, the next color is Espresso, PC1099. Just want to sharpen it quick. Oh, sorry, the previ previous color, or oh, this color is Beige Sienna, and Beige Sienna is 1080. That's the one that I've just highlighted here. And now I'm just softly blending with a light hand, blending in oh, the darker colors that we've added. No, I'm sure you won't. Just go for it, sickle. I'm still with the badge Cena. Now I'm going over to Nectar. Just want to turn my page slightly. Back to Henna, PC1031.
and I'm just darkening the nectar just blending it a bit more with the nectar pressing a little bit harder now then back to my chestnut Here's the chestnut. If you are heavy handed, um, I find it helps to hold the pencil further back because that takes the pressure off the tip of the pencil. Next is Terracotta, PC944. And next is Salmon Pink. Uh, for example, if I hold it here in front, I can press like that. But if you hold it back, it's really difficult to press with the same pressure. It immediately makes your hand lighter. And this is Clay Rose. And next is Badge Theater. And then White. And we just want to add the highlight. because we don't want to lose it now then the upper lip enhance the side where the light catches we'll cover it just now then nectar Next is Great Lavender.
then I want to bring back some of the purples so next is lilac PC956 Next is Brown Senna, PC945, and just shade in the purple that we've added. You are all very quiet. Are you all still there? Next is the black raspberry again. Now we're going to do a little bit of texture on the lips, those little lines. Just draw them in the direction to shape the lip. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Next is Dark Umba, and that is PC947, and really enhance the shadow. Of the lips, and then also enhance the shadow of the mouth corner. and the bottom lip. Or just below the bottom lip. Then take your nectar. Again. And blend it in softly. Next is cream. Back to nectar. And while I'm going, I'm coloring in the direction so that it keeps the lines of the lip that we've added and just softening them then back to white where's the white no problem Janine now I'm drawing little lines to create the highlight in a downward motion so that you follow the lines that we've added to the lip Next is the neck. I got nectar in my hand. And cover the whole area. But not here in the front. In the front I'm leaving it. 
then I'm going to add eggshell. Then badge Zena. Go over the eggshell. And then I'm going to add beige, BC997. And lighten it and blend it in. Next is Sandbar Brown, PC1094. And darken below the chin. And also in between the feathers. Then 70% French grey, BC1074. And darken some more. Then the nectar again. And then light umber. You see nine for one. And I'm s slightly covering the upper part of or the face here by the jawline just to soften that line then badge the inner Eggshell, and white. Blend it in. Then nectar again and soften the outline of the face here. Then I take badge Zena. Go over the nectar and then cream. and blend. So let's do the eyes while we're there and then we can finish up with the eyelids. So first I'm going to take henna, sharpen your pencil, it needs to be sharp for the small details. So the little tear ducts, just shape them, 
so I'm basically outlining it. And this is medium to hard pressure. Hello Maribel, welcome. Then nectar. Now I'm adding nectar to the white part of the eye and the corners. Then I'm going to take I think it's 50% French grape. Mum, can you just confirm? It's PC1072. So I'm using grey first to do the white section of the eye. Then beige Sienna. Then my 70% French grey and do the shadow just below the eyelid. Your lid is always casting a shadow onto the eye. So we need to darken. So on the white part of the eye, I'm adding the shadow. So yes, it was 50% French grey. And I'm now with 70% French grey. A little bit more nectar here in the corner. And then a little bit more henna. And then a little bit of chestnut. Next color is pale sage. So I'm adding it right next to the iris. So on that line I'm highlighting it and then also the tear duct highlight it the in between. Then again highlight the don't go over your shadow that you just added just the bottom section I'm highlighting the white And shade it in. Seventy percent French grey. Enhance your shadow. Now I'm going to take indigo blue and do the outer rim of the iris. Next is Slate Grey, PC936. And 
and add it from the top toward the bottom. I'm shading it. Then back to the indigo and shade it in from the top. Darken it, so medium to hard pressure. Okay, next is Blue Violet Lake, BC1079. And just around the pupil, I'm adding a little bit of blue. And then Light Aqua. Here at the bottom. And shade it in. Now you'll see that your eyes are extremely bright. It's a little bit too bright. So I'm going to tone it down with a little bit of grey. Um, so I'm going to use 50% French grey, BC1072. And add a little bit of grey. Then first add in your pupil, so with black. I'm adding in the pupil. Enhance the edges. There we have used the indigo of the iris. Now draw little lines outward from the pupil over the color. Same on this side. Draw in the iris of oh, the pupil. Now I'm just drawing the little eyeliner on the edge of the eye. Off on the eyelid, edge of the eyelid. Again, darkening the edges and then flick outward small little lines from the pupil onto the iris. Now, if the eyes are still too bright, you can take a little bit of moss green and just add a little bit of green. Now I'm taking my white and I'm going to add a little bit of white before we finish the eye. I've got a little bit of tears almost. Yeah. Also on this side. Highlight the thin inside of the eye. Now I'm going to take slate grey and draw in the rim. Then back to my indigo and darker the outer rim. And then black. Now also just a thin line here on the edge of the eye. So eyeliner for the bottom part of the eye. The thin black line on the eyelid at the top. Drawn it a little bit wide. So I'm just going to take 
go and see now. Just go over the black and blend it a bit. Then nectar. Then go to black again. Now I'm just thickening my eyeliner on on the top eyelid. Take your nectar, darken the corner of the inside of the eye. Then chestnut. Give it a shadow right on the corner onto the nectar to shape it. And then the black. Oh, oh yeah, this black. Then terracotta. Next, I'm going to take black before we carry on finishing off the eyes. I'm just doing the eyebrows so that you can see exactly how dark or how light you want to make your eyes. So first, I'm just drawing small little lines at the bottom of the eyebrow. Then dark umber. BC 947 then cross it inward and then over the black lines Then brown ochre, PC 943, in the highlight, or go over the top section of the brow, where it catches a lot of light. Then also with the same pencil, just cover the eyelid, here at the bottom, and on the upper lid. Now to really let the eyes stand out, I'm going to add a little bit of light green, BC920. And I'm just going to draw little lines inward. There we go. White enhance the little shiny dot. Lighten this inside of the eye and soften it by blending. Highlight this section just below the tear duct. And next is BC945. I'm just shortening it. Then black raspberry enhance the eyeshadows a bit with the black raspberry. Go down. Flicking motion towards the the nose and then chestnut
thin light umber. Blend it in. Oh, thank you so much, Pam. Next is golden root. Then it's nectar. And then enhance this darkened shape here where the eye socket is. Then blend it in with the beige sienna. And then cream. Just blend it in. Next is cloud blue. So I'm cooling down that highlight there on the cheek. And then add a little bit of white. Yes, Janina, I think that's a great idea. At least we are starting to finish some of the images off that we've done on Patreon. Between the public and the Patreon, I think we will finish quite a bit this year. This is Clay Rose, BC1017. Then eggshell. Next is chocolate. PC1082. Now for me too, Janine. I think we've got loads of whips. But there's also lots of colouring events, so it's difficult to finish a page if you also have to stream for an event. Now back to eggshell, and I'm just just below the dark um, bottom eyelid, I'm just lightening, highlighting the cheek. Back to nectar. And then white. And 
Now I'm going to press medium to hard pressure just in the middle of that highlight that we've got. I'm going to take black raspberry. Where did I put it? Here we go. Again, enhance the height of the, the shadows. Then Hina. Then pink. Oh, the hard light portrait is when you have a really bright um, a light shining from the one side and it creates quite a dark definite shadow onto the face so with soft light it is um, not a very prominent highlight it's like very subtle and your shadows is not as dark and next is salmon pink 1001 In again, thank you, Janine. You know, sometimes when you see portraits, then you hardly even see where the light and the shadow is on the face itself. So this, you can see a definite, um, a prominent shadow, which is much darker than your lighter section on the face. Then light umber. Next is mineral orange. Back to Henna. Back to mineral orange. Beige Sienna. We just want to shape the highlight here.
Next is grade lavender, PC1026. So I'm softening the highlight here. Then nectar. Chocolate. Then espresso. PC one zero double nine. Darken the shadow that the feather helmet is casting. And then also with a light hand on the neck itself. Back to nectar. No problem. Sickle, you can ask questions. I will answer them for you. Next is a little bit of lilac. Then nectar again. Just need to lighten this section of the lip and also here. Then pink salmon. And then once you are happy with, oops, with your image, this is just espresso. I'm just extending the eyebrow. I think I've covered my lines, but it's okay. Nothing too serious. Enhance the shadow line of the hair. Then you can add in your eyelashes. I think just before then I just need to use burnt ochre. And just make sure there's no holes on um, the paper from the colouring pencil. Then terracotta. I'm just darkening this section of the eyelids. And then you can draw your eyelashes. And the bottom ones. I normally wouldn't do these eyelashes till you've done your background. 
but it's just to guide you so that you know where they go. Now I'm taking light umber and just give a shadow just below the eyebrow. And a little bit see in a brown, just here in the dark section. Still with the Sienna Brown. And as you can see, I'm coloring in different directions to just fill up these little white holes. Then badge the inner again. Of the paper that is, the little holes of the paper. And then white. highlights go over them again oops Sina right next to the nose bridge and just soften that line so that there is a yes you could use a blender but I'm just using lots of layers white here on the nose bridge Highlight the nose. I just want to darken this edge of the lip with nectar.
Good night, Gudrun. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Let's do a quick page giveaway. Uh, let's play number generator. You can choose a number between 1 and 100. And you can win any page from my Etsy store. You can go now. Choose your numbers. I'm darkening it just with a little bit of henna. Okay, so six numbers so far. You can win any page from my Etsy store. There will be a new one tomorrow. I will be loading it tomorrow morning. Okay, so all the numbers in, let's go. Start. 68. So the lucky number is 68. Lizzie, it seems like you are our lucky number. Isn't Lizzie closer, the 70? 68, that's only two numbers. <laughs> okay, congratulations Lizzie. It seems like you are the winner. You can um, PM me or send me an email with what page you would like from my Etsy store. It could be out of one of the books as well that the pages are not available. It's really up to you. No, Laura, I normally just play the closest, not over or under, just the closest to the number. 
I find it works easier for me. And that's it for tonight, I think. So thank you, Mom, for being my mod. Thank you so much to each and everyone that came out to watch the stream, the part two. I hope to see a couple of Vikings um, soon on the group. And please join our Facebook group. It is uh, Color My Dreams, Adult Coloring. Uh, you can post there. And we have uh, events there and also there is free pages in the group itself that's only exclusive to the group so come join us uh, the Facebook group is in the description or you can join my patron for more but more in detail tutorials Yes, I will do the, the background in Patreon next week. And more in depth, we do lots of different things. Well, I will be doing the background on my Patreon next week. Thank you, Mom, for being my mod. Thank you to each and everyone that came out tonight. Hope to see you next week. Bye-bye for now and stay safe.